look at some of the new features in iOS 11.3 Beta 1. How's it going guys? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. The first thing that you're going to notice when you update to iOS 11.3 Developer Beta 1 is this new splash screen that's all about customer privacy. And really Apple highlights their stand on privacy on the splash screen, but if you tap learn more, you get to see all the different areas and the explanations with regard to privacy relating to those different areas of within iOS. So very verbose explanation of privacy. Apple even highlighted uh, or made a change to the settings app icon for privacy. It was gray at one time, but now it has been updated. Now you can see it's blue. So it really just tries to make it stand out as important. And even if you go into something like Apple News settings, you're gonna notice a new privacy link there that actually opens up more privacy details pertaining to news. Now here's something on iOS 11.3 beta one to make it easier to see how to go about purchasing apps. Now on the older version of iOS, you just see this where it says double click to install, which is kind of an ambiguous, I guess. Uh, doesn't really tell you where to click. Uh, to double click to install. On the new version of iOS 11.3 developer beta one, you're gonna notice a little glyph at the bottom of the screen that really helps you to appreciate how to go about confirming a purchase using the side button. It actually says confirm with side button as well. So yeah, it doesn't get any simpler than that. And perhaps the most exciting new feature in iOS 11.3 beta one, at least for iPhone 10 owners, are the four new Animoji characters that you're gonna find. So you have a lion, which is right here. You can see a little lion, you have a dragon, you have a skull, and then finally you have a brown bear, which is my favorite new addition. Uh, so here's the lion. And of course, like all in emoji, you can change your facial expression and it will reflect that expression right there on the screen, which is still very impressive. Even though in emoji, I think the luster has worn off a little bit, or at least the excitement, the initial excitement is kind of worn off a little bit. But just using these four in emoji kind of reminds me how impressive the feature still is. So check out the four new in emoji. Now messages on iCloud was a feature announced back at WWDC last year. And after appearing in some of the initial betas, it was delayed, but now it's here in iOS 11.3 beta one. So this is handy because it frees up space on your iPhone by keeping photos and other attachments in the cloud. It also allows you to see all of your messages as soon as you sign into a new machine, whether it be a new iPhone or an iPad or Mac. And then also, this is the coolest part perhaps, when you delete a message on one device, it's deleted across all devices. So you can just go into the iCloud settings, make sure messages is enabled. Let me show you what happens when you delete a message on one device. Look in the background, it's gone just like that. So iMessages on iCloud coming soon. Another new feature that you'll appreciate is the updated updates tab in the App Store. Now you see the exact size and version number for your updates on the App Store. The Health app has also received a notable update, one that could be potentially groundbreaking for health record management because there's a new health record section within the health app. And if you've ever been to a doctor or you've been going through some sort of medical procedure and you get all your like test data back and things of that nature, you know how frustrating it can be to try to keep up with all that information. Well, with health records in the health app, you can now aggregate all that information from various doctors, various clinics, medical centers, all in one place. So you can actually go in log into that particular system and there's several out there right now there will be more in the future no doubt but for this example let's just choose unc medical center um, so we tap on that and then you just tap on where it says unc healthcare and then you would be able to log into that particular portal and then pull in all of your medical records directly into the health app which is really, really nice for if, if you're going through something like you're going through a major medical crisis, then this could potentially be a huge help. Do you notice anything different about the iBooks icon? Look closer. Now it just says books, not iBooks. Even though it still says iBooks in some spots, they're still working on that. The soft remote control that you'll find in the control center for the Apple TV has now been slightly updated. Now there is a, a new design for the text input box. There's also Siri support, so you can actually spell out different letters directly from your iPhone, just like you can with the hardware Apple TV remote. 
And lastly, multi-room support for AirPlay 2 is now baked inside of iOS 11.3. So you can see I have two Apple TVs and these have both been updated to the latest beta version of tvOS. So I can tap on each device that I wish to add for multi-room playback. And now music is playing back in both living room and the office. And you can adjust volume. There's also individual volume controls that will pop up, but it seems to be a little buggy, which is understandable considering, yeah, it's still in beta. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a hands-on look at iOS 11.3 beta one. Have you found any additional new features or changes? Let me know down below in the comment section and leave me a thumbs up if you appreciated this video and make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more. This is Jeff with the 9to5 Mac.